Hey guys, we are back and we are bringing you another Choose Local Week on the show. And this time we sent our correspondent, Nicole DaCosta, to Sherwood. Nicole, you got to tell me what's shaking in Sherwood, girl. <laughs> Pretty much everything all week long. I'm excited to take you to the Sherwood area, just 30 minutes southwest of Portland in the Tualatin Valley. And this week on Everyday Northwest, we'll be telling you where to stay, play, shop, sip, and dine when you're in the Sherwood area. All right, when you're visiting Sherwood, you're going to need a great place to stay. So our sponsors at close by Shahalem Ridge Bed and Breakfast are ready to welcome you. Let's kick off our Choose Local Sherwood Week with a great stay. Check it out. The Willamette Valley is the center of Oregon wine country with hundreds of wineries, beautiful vistas, and plenty of art and culture. There's lots to do. Welcome to Shehalem Ridge Bed and Breakfast, located just 10 minutes southwest of Sherwood. So Kristen, what a very special place that you have here. So tell us about Shehalem Ridge Bed and Breakfast. Well, yeah, we've been open for about 15 years, uh, set up just outside of Sherwood and Newburgh taking advantage of wine country here and bringing guests in from all over the country and all over the world. The international guests have actually started coming back this year, so it's pretty exciting. Oh, I bet you've met so, so many great couples through the years and great people coming to stay with you. Yeah, yeah. Some people are just coming to visit wine country and they come and they stay for a few days and then uh, they go home with cases of wine. Some people are coming to explore Oregon and they do some time at the coast, some time in the gorge, and some time in wine country, so we get lots of lots of travelers. But when you first show up, you can't deny this view. We pulled up and this, boom, here it is. This is a beautiful lot, so are people blown away? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's really great to see people's reactions as they come and say, oh my gosh, the pictures don't do it justice, and I'm like, how do I take a picture that does this justice? But yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, especially in the summer, it's just such a beautiful view of the valley. All the way out, to, actually, we can see the St. Paul fireworks. They're very small, um, wow. but we can see the St. Paul fireworks from here. So nice. And when folks come to say, tell us about the rooms and offerings that you have. Sure, we have five rooms. Four of them have valley views and private decks, so uh, guests can sit out on their decks in the evening with a glass of wine and really enjoy just the peace and quiet that they can't get at home because, you know, something's always needing to be done and when you come here, you can really get away from it all. Our five rooms are themed kind of in an Oregon theme, so we've got uh, the wine country room and the rose garden room. Uh, high desert suite so without being too kitschy trying to bring in some of Oregon into our b, &B. Now it was so thoughtfully done very subtle but also we get kind of that rustic feel and every room the beautiful views out all the windows so yeah. truly incredible and when we wake up we're at a beautiful bed and breakfast out here we're ready for breakfast I hear that's a big one for you guys so <laughs> it is it is I'm a trained chef I love to use the local fresh ingredients and to showcase what Oregon produces to the guests from out of state like uh, this morning we we will be serving strawberry parfait with some fresh local strawberries and our homemade hazelnut granola yes. um, and then we use edible flowers from our garden um, we're doing fresh baked uh, rhubarb muffins because rhubarb oh, is such a great favorite. product, right? Yes. And then uh, we do an entree. So the, today's entree is going to be a baked egg and asparagus gratin with herbed potatoes. The herbs, of course, came from our garden and then some, some more edible flowers. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Sharing that bit of Oregon through the culinary experience, too. So people come here from all over, like you were mentioning. And I'm sure a lot of folks don't know what to go see and do. So what are some fun things to go see and do? We could probably see it from here with this view. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, so most people are coming for wine country. Right. We've got 500 wineries within about an hour drive and they're coming to chase Pinot Noir but they also make some great Pinot Gris, some Chardonnay, some bigger reds. So we really do help our guests figure out which wineries they want to visit and help them set up their appointments. Especially in the summer, it's really good to make your appointments. Things have changed since since the pandemic. So yes, getting to plan ahead is very important. It yeah. is, yeah. There's also hiking in the area. There's some great hiking trails that we love to point folks to. Um, and exploring the area. So anything else we should know about Shehalem Ridge? You guys, it seems like every day you just have so much fun. We showed up and you've just been smiling all day. <laughs> what a blessing for almost 15 years. This yeah. is your life, this is your job. Yeah, it's just such a great, um, a great job to have, to be able to share our area with people, you know, share our view, share our food. It's just a great opportunity that we have to, to share who we are.
book your stay at Shehalem Ridge Bed and Breakfast. We can't wait to see you. ShehalemRidge.com has all the information. Okay, we are ready for breakfast. This looks so good. Yeah, dig in. I know you've been waiting for those rhubarb muffins. Ooh, I have. Yes, thank you to our sponsors at Shehalem Ridge Bed and Breakfast. Just a fantastic view and beautiful rooms. Cannot wait to get over there again. You can visit their website or give them a call to book your stay.